Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of this video, it's a comparison video for the palette um, that was that I spoke about in my last video, which was the Makeup Revolution Iconic Vitality Palette compared to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Now the Modern Renaissance Palette is a very popular palette. I have shown it in a makeup collection video. Here is mine. As you can see, it is pretty well level. A, a couple of shades already I've hit pan on. And we're going to be comparing it to the um, Iconic Vitality Palette, which I have already mentioned, which is this one. Now already you can kind of see some similarities in tones of the palette, um, but right off the bat, I'm just going to go ahead and say that the formula is quite different. The Anastasia shadows are quite a bit softer. They blend out a little bit more easily and more seamlessly than the Makeup Revolution ones. The Makeup Revolution ones do blend out very nicely, but not as soft and easily as the Modern Renaissance shadows do. So, I think that's the only difference I see in the formula, just that, you know, the Modern Renaissance shadows are a bit softer and the Makeup Revolution shadows are a little bit more um, stiffer in the pan or they're not stiff but they're pressed a little more so they're not as soft as the Modern Renaissance one. As I do the swatches, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance as the guide. So I'm going to go in order from left to right um, on each row here. And I'm going to go this way and then grab the shades from the Makeup Revolution palette. And then again, I'm going to go that way and then the shades from the Modern, um, I mean the Makeup Revolution palette. That way it's a little bit easier since you see that the Modern Renaissance has 14 shades. And the Makeup Revolution one has 15 shades. And the black is not in the Modern Renaissance palette. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and get into the swatches. The swatch of the Modern Renaissance is on the left side and the one from Makeup Revolution is on the right side. So as you can see, the first shade is a little bit different. The shade Tempera in the Modern Renaissance is a little bit lighter and has a more satin finish. And in the second shade, Golden Ochre, the Modern Renaissance is a little bit lighter and in the Makeup Revolution, it's a bit warmer. And then the shade Vermeer is pretty much identical um, in the Modern Renaissance and in the Makeup Revolution palette. Just that the Modern Renaissance is a little bit softer, but still you would get the same look with that shade. And with the shade Balm Fresco, the Modern Renaissance, it's a little deeper purple than the one in the Makeup Revolution. Okay, now here are the next four shades. The first one is Antique Bronze. And it looks to be, ex well, really closely, probably this exactly the same as the... Um, the Makeup Revolution one and the next shade is Love Letter and you can tell that it's pretty different from the, in the Modern Renaissance to the Makeup Revolution the Modern Renaissance one is a little bit more deeper and more pigmented and then we have the shade Cypress Umber and again the Modern Renaissance shade is a little bit deeper well it's quite a bit deeper it's darker and the makeup revolution is a little bit cooler and then in the shade raw sienna um i'd say they're pretty much the same just the 
modern renaissance is a bit more pigmented than the makeup revolution one okay so here are the next four shades and the shade burnt orange is pretty much the same again i'd say just that the modern renaissance is a bit more pigmented and then the shade primavera is almost exactly the same just that the one in the modern in the makeup revolution one is a tiny bit lighter in tone than the one in the modern renaissance and then the shade um red ochre is again very similar just the modern renaissance one is a bit deeper than the makeup revolution one and in the venetian red it's much deeper in a lot less pink in the modern renaissance than it is in the makeup revolution okay so here are the last four shades that are in well i'll say four shades because of the comparison to the modern renaissance but it's warm taupe and again they're almost exactly the same just a little bit more pigmented in the modern renaissance and the shade real gar is again the same but just a little bit more pigmented in the modern renaissance and then that's the black from the makeup revolution palette so as you can see the lighting has changed quite a bit and i apologize for that but as you saw in the swatches the makeup revolution is very similar to the modern renaissance palette now again like i said and as you may have seen the formula is very different you're not going to get the same quality as you get from anastasia shadows they are my most favorite shadow formula so it is lacking in comparison to anastasia shadows but not lacking in eyeshadows overall but again it's pretty much similar you can exchange between the two um most of the shades that i use the most in the modern renaissance are the ones that are more dupable in the makeup revolution so i definitely say that this would be a dupe shade wise but definitely not formula wise so if you want a little bit more of a richer formula a softer formula that would be a more easier for you to blend out then i would definitely go with the modern renaissance but if you're maybe a beginner or even you don't have to be a beginner but um the makeup revolution one is a little bit more stiffer and you can build it up more it's not as pigmented so you kind of have a little bit more control over the shadows then i would probably go with the makeup revolution one for that so that is the end of this video um if you like this video please hit that like button and if you aren't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button i try to post at least two to three days a week and if you have any requests or if you would like to see a specific video on my channel just go ahead and leave a comment down below and i'll go ahead and try to film that for you so i hope to see you in my next video bye